Statistics show that about 800,000 to 1 million people in Israel of working age have a disability. Yet, despite how common this issue is, there are still a lot of barriers when it comes to integrating the disabled into Israeli society. Well, joining us now is a founder and dean of the Balkai Center for Practical Rabbinics to tell us about how his center is working to change the taboo within the ultra-Orthodox community. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about the wider issue. You know, what is one of the main issues that people with disabilities face within the Orthodox Jewish community? I think uh, people just don't feel welcome uh, in a community setting. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily different between being Orthodox or not Orthodox. I just think that there's so much uh, pressure to be the same today in, in social settings. And uh, people with, uh, who have disabilities or people who have children who have disabilities often feel shame and uncomfortable being marked uh, different and being looked at in synagogue. And they're just afraid of being different. Now, now why did your center choose to focus on this issue specifically? Well, our center is dedicated to building community uh, in Israel and communities in Israel. And we see that uh, being a community means including everybody. So uh, just for the si si simple uh, idea that a community has to include all its members or it's not really a community. And therefore, we want to make sure that everyone feels welcome in synagogue. So, so how are you doing that? I understand that you have a unique course that you're teaching to rabbis. Yeah, so we have a two-year training course for Israeli Hebrew-speaking rabbis mm -hmm. uh, all across Israel. We have 60 rabbis within our uh, system. Very and uh, there are many issues that we teach them, but the, uh, the specific course that we just concluded uh, deals with uh, integrating people with disabilities into the synagogue. Very interesting. So what kind of impact have, have you seen this course have on, on Jewish communities here in Israel? Uh, it's happening slowly, but we see uh, people feeling more welcome, and we, we see uh, rabbis in synagogues uh, going the extra mile to make sure that they have the sensitivities that are needed and the knowledge that is needed in order to uh, make the synagogue a welcome uh, environment for everybody. Do you have any examples that you could give us? Well, uh, we have uh, kids who are uh, who have autism, for mm -hmm. example, who um, very often, you know, make noises or cry out, and uh, in synagogue, and their parents are often uh, afraid to bring them because they're uh, afraid that uh, they'll be looked at. And and we've trained our rabbis that that's okay, and it's nothing to be afraid of, and it's something to welcome. And uh, there are many, many stories that I could give you. Uh, that have, uh, and just uh, anecdotally, we've been told by many of our synagogue's members, uh, not my synagogue, but the synagogues mm -hmm. of the rabbis that are in our course, that, they're, uh, that, that they just feel much more welcome in the synagogue. Well, it's beautiful. It's very, very important that, you know, your center is focusing on this issue because it's one where we need to, we need to spread awareness, you know? Yes, absolutely. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank uh, you. Rabbi David Fine. Thank you.